surgeons from the hit TV show Botched have made a living out of fixing other doctors' mistakes. This morning, we are going to meet two young women who turned to surgeons Paul Nassif and Terry Dubrow after experiencing disfigurement. First up is Carissa Wakesser, who was left with a horrific injury after a dog attack. Watch this. A year ago, my life changed completely for the worst. We went to a friend's house, and we started, like, you know, just playing card games, you know, just hanging out. I was playing with the dog, sitting on the floor. I was about to pick up my phone, and the last thing I remember is just my friend running up to me with a towel, holding it on my face, and then everyone was just going into panic. And I looked down, and I just drenched in maroon. It all blacked out. And then I remember waking up in the ER. I felt my face very heavy, and I'm like, something's not right. I look up. I'm covered from here to here, just all white. I unraveled it, and that's what I saw. I was missing my whole lip from the middle to the end. I just broke down. I sat on the floor, and I just cried. I just couldn't believe what was... I still didn't know what was happening. I thought I was in a dream. Carissa had surgeries immediately after that attack. However, they left her mouth and her lip deformed, and then she turned to the botched doctors. Welcome, Carissa Wekeser and doctors Paul Nassif and Terry Dubrow. Welcome to you. Carissa, I watched the episode and just felt for you. This It came out of nowhere. You were with a friend. You bent down to pick your phone up off the floor. Yeah. And the next, you, do you remember being attacked by the dog? No, I just remember bits and pieces. Like, I remember, like, going to the ambulance. I remember, like, the hospital bits and pieces. They didn't want me to get up or look in the mirror. And, of course, when you tell somebody not to do something, you're going to do it. And that's when I just, I looked in the mirror and I dropped and... Do you know whether it was a single bite or a sustained attack? I really don't remember. It was all so quick. Yeah. Well, that's good. I right? like. Yeah. I was like. Yeah. I rather. Yeah. It's good not to remember. Yes. So when when you you're a fa a facial plastic surgeon, mm -hmm. Dr. Nassif. So you're the one who did the surgery. On, on I am. So when you saw her when she first came in, because it was like the top lip and the bottom lip were were melded together, um, and there was all sorts of nerve damage and so on on the inside. What what was your belief on whether you could fix it? Well, I mean, you know, the, the first thing you have to think about is function. And when I saw, you know, Chris, I said, okay, you know, what can you do with your function? And she goes, well, I can't eat a hamburger anymore. And I said, our goal is basically to get her to eat a hamburger. That's a good goal. So, I mean, <laughs> yes. so, um, so what happened with her initial surgery, the doctor moved up the lower lip to the upper lip to reconstruct it. Now, um, obviously, hindsight's twenty twenty. Maybe it was that the best thing to do at that time. Maybe, maybe not. And so our goal is to try to stretch out that muscle, and honestly, until in surgery, and that's kind of like what we do all the time, some of these things that, we're, that we experience, we don't know yet what we can do mm -hmm. until we're in surgery. And so we got in there, and luckily I was able to put the lower lip back down and stretch out her upper lip and make her a new corner, and we probably elongated it maybe about a third. Definitely, yeah. And, and then you had to do another follow-up surgery. Then we went surgery. and did another yeah. follow-up to make it look a little bit more normal and fix the scar in the upper lip. And now, what she told me, the good news is, she ate a... Hamburger. Yay! <laughs> I mean, because, because, listen, any sort of facial disfigurement changes the way you project yourself to the outside world. And it doesn't even, you don't even have to have a disfigurement. It could just be something that you're really self-conscious over yeah. for whatever reason, which is why people turn to guys like you. The best. But what was your life like because you were always super outgoing. Yeah, so said. I was like, well, I feel party. My friends will tell you that. Like, I was always down, like, let's go. We're going to go jump off a cliff. Let's go. I'm down. But now this changes you. It, it really, it's not just, how can I put this into words? It's not just, like, you're not just disfigured. Your whole mindset, your emotional mindset changes. I always shied away. I'll take a hoodie and I'll go like this. I'll cover my face. I, I feel that way <laughs> when I have a breakout. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I feel for you because it's what people were looking exactly at. Exactly the first thing you look at, especially when you're a young female is your looks, your beauty, like, your face. That's what's horrible. It's, like, your, the main part of your face, your but lip. now I look at your face, and I look at your eyes. Now it's your <laughs> eyes that jump out at me. I mean, do you see that? Do you feel the transformation? Yes, 100%. Because I know on the show you were very nervous about... Are you kidding know, me? You see this now? Oh. Uh, <laughs> those are TV nerves. But you were worried that he wasn't going to be able to get it done because yes, you had already had nervous. surgeries yes. and they, they weren't able to fix it. Yeah. Now how do you feel? I feel amazing. That's a massive change in my life. Is, it, is, is she done with the surgeries now? Well, you know, there's always a little touch-up. She has a little bit of bulk, I noticed, because I haven't seen her since yeah. she was out in New Jersey. Yeah. First time seeing her now. <laughs> and maybe we can do a little touch-up, a little, you know, a little tweak, maybe, little just tweak. to make it a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs>
But do you feel better now? Yes, 100 percent I can walk down the street, I have confidence again. Literally, I never had that. I would like I would always shy away. I'd always be in the corner. It would, to get out was hard. Yep. Now, ever since I was a Dr. Nassif, I just walk down the street, I'm like, mm, mm. <laughs> Yeah, ready to bring it. <laughs> Go, girl. You know? Good for you. You're even even when you went into his office, you still had that spark. You still had that my little spunk. Yeah, you had that. So good for you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.